Hi! In this video, I will guide you through the example 2 that you can find in the ZUI's package. Let's get started. So, in order to open the example 2, you go to Doozy, Examples, Scenes, and here you have E2 Simple App Portrait 2D. Let's double click it, and this is the scene. I've already opened it. If you see Portrait and 2D, it means that this scene was meant to be viewed as a 2D scene and in portrait mode. It will work in landscape, but we recommend viewing it in uh, portrait mode. Let's press play and let's see the scene. So, this is a simple scene. I have an UI drawer here that also affects the music. All right, and some tabs. Notice the animations on the tabs. Close option. A UI pop-up. Of course, escape works, so Let's show this, and now I'm going to press escape, the back button. Now this, and this, escape, and escape again. All right, so that's the scene. It is very simple, and I'm going to show you how it was created and how exactly it works. Well, first of all, let's see the UI flow. So let's select the graph controller, and uh, let's uh, look under the hood. <laughs> so at the beginning, Let's make this a bit bigger. We have a sound node that starts playing some music, and this is the music. Yeah. After that, we have uh, an welcome uh, screen, and that is this screen. And here you can uh, we, we use portals to jump from one to another. So it doesn't matter where you are; you can go open, go to rate, and actually let me show you. So the buttons. Where is the main menu? There you go. Buttons. Is this it? No, this is the show pop up. Come on, background image, ah, button bar. Yeah, so these buttons, let's see them in scene mode actually. So these buttons right here send game events and the game events are go to rate, go to main menu and go to settings. Notice how these nodes are connected. They do not know one about another and we can override the connections from one to another because we're using game events, virtual connections. So let's check it out. So the rate app button, this one, besides having progressors and those animations, and you can check them out. This is one animation, for example, that uh, is created with a progressor. This is another animation that you saw. They're all connected. The star also has a animation. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's look at the button. The button, in order for this to work, sends this game event. So we are here and we are setting the game event go to rate. And let's see it. On trigger, we're sending this game event. So this is how this works. Let's enter play mode and let's see it actually. Let's see the flow. There you go. Music started. We're in the welcome screen. And now when I'll click this, you will see that we will jump here. This will jump here. And this will jump here. Yeah, and if I press the back button, this one, or I press escape, check it out. The UI drawer is not here because it's not meant to be in the navigation flow. Although you have a UI drawer node and you can use that should you want to do that. And uh, yeah, that's it for uh, this uh, particular example. Notice the, the way we created the portal nodes and how this is connected. If you enter this node, it will show the rate, the rate uh, view. And if you leave this node, it will hide the rate view. So each uh, node encapsulates, it shows and hides its own view. This top bar is actually the button. We are showing the same button. This is the top bar and we're showing it every time we uh, actually let me put it side by side and show you. So let's press play and you'll see that we reuse this and use it as a back button. Check it out. So let's close this. This is the drawer. So. 
and this is the same. Yeah. And this is the example number two. You should uh, look at how we created this with progressors because that's all we, we did to, to make it uh, fun. So here you have an image target and it's, pre it's pretty easy to, to understand once you, you get the hang of it. And uh, yeah, that's it for this uh, example number two.